Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. So here it is, at last, the final expansion to cover. Vanilla Instances. I can tell you right now that while this is a raw gold series, I don't expect a whole lot from vanilla in that area. That said, transmog, old world materials, and recipes are mainly the prices you'll walk away with these instances. But we're looking at the raw gold amounts anyways, because I'm crazy or something. <laughs> Let's slide right into this. There's no need to cover anything aside from these two points. One, all these instances only have one difficulty. Just one. And two, item level doesn't matter, so you can do these easily on any character that's above this content's level. Bammo, let's get into it. Starting with the raids. Number one, Molten Core. Ah, good old Molten Core. Possibly the most famous raid in WoW certainly at least one of them. While you don't get too much in the ways of raw gold here, it is a great place to farm dark iron ore and a few other mats if you're a miner. The bindings of everyone's favorite legendary meme come from this place too. Comment down below if you know what I'm saying. This raid will give you 200 gold in 18 minutes or 11 gold per minute. Number two, Black Wing Lair. 200 gold in 10 minutes at 10 gold per minute. This is a fairly short raid, but the first boss can be a bit janky if you've not been here before. Don't attack the dragonkin or you'll get one shot. Use the orb to control him and then make him destroy all the eggs. Once you've done that, then you can kill him and move on. Other than that, it's just kind of a neat little raid with goblins and dragons and sciency stuff. If you don't move while all of, ne all of Nefarian's mobs spawn during the last encounter, you can kill them all in the same spot and make a pretty little bone wreath. How festive! Number 3, Ruins of Enquarage. 200 gold in 15 minutes at 13.3 gold per minute. This raid actually only has a daily lockout, much like Heroic Dungeons. There's some unique mog that comes from here, so it's certainly a bonus there. Other than that, just keep an eye out for chunks of obsidian if you're a miner. Some of the old recipes require these shards to craft, and they're kind of expensive. Number 4, Temple of Enquarage. 150 gold in about 20 minutes, 7.5 GPM. This is a decent sized raid in terms of ground to cover, and it has a ton of trash littered throughout it. So your time is going to vary depending on how much of it you want to deal with. Some of the guards move quickly, and this makes it kind of annoying to give chase. This whole instance is easy though, with the only special boss being Vesidus. This slimy boy requires frost damage of some sort to be killed. So if you aren't a mage, shaman, or death knight, you've got to find other craftier ways. I'm no expert on this though, so share your secrets if you have any. So that was it for raids, just the four from vanilla. Now we're moving on to dungeons. Starting with number five, Black Fathom Deeps. 90 gold in eight minutes at 11.25. This one's kind of neat. It has twilight cultists and an old gaudy things and underwater portions all over the place, so it makes for a rather foreboding instance. Gotta save people from being sacrificed, you know? The usual hero work. In this dungeon, as you'll see with many of them if you go to do them yourself, they have a handful of optional bosses you can go after for bonus loot. So just so you're aware of that now, I always do all the extra bosses in every, every instance, so keep that in mind with my results. Number 6, Blackrock Depths. 400 gold in 30 minutes at 13 gold per minute. All right, so this is a really, really, really long dungeon if you want to do a full entire clear. It's windy and a bit easy to get lost in, plus there are some special bosses you need to summon in certain ways, as well as a vault you need keys for, things you have to interact with to get to different parts. I normally like to give little tips in these videos if there's something funky you need to know about, but that's like this whole dungeon. So I feel like doing a proper clear of this instance would warrant its own walkthrough. Would you lovelies like that? If you would, I can, uh, I can make one. Let me know in the comments. Number seven, Dead Mines. 90 gold in six minutes. This one does have a heroic version, but it's the normal setting that's vanilla scaled. There are multiple vanilla dungeons like this, so keep an ear out for those. As for the dungeon itself, it's nothing too spectacular. 
a very easy starter dungeon for low levels, and it's likely one of the first that the new players will step into with the Dungeon Finder tool. At least for now. Number 8. Dire Mall. So, Dire Mall, despite being in one chunk in the journal, actually is in three separate instances. North, East, and West. Because of that, I have them separated here for you. We have Dire Mall, North. Gordok Commons at 80 gold in 9 minutes. East Warped Quarter, 70 gold in 11 minutes. And West Capital Gardens in 90 gold in 11 minutes. They are all a bit easy to get lost in, and they do have a bit of back and forth. So watch your map if you're unfamiliar with them. Number 9, Nomergon. 80 gold in 14 minutes. So this one's a long one. It technically has four optional bosses, and I did all of them, as well as clearing a majority of the trash. It is worth noting, too, that you can collect grime-encrusted objects and turn them into vending machines partway through the dungeon. From what I could find, turning those in can give you random ore and jewels and such from the vanilla era, though I don't know how worthy it is of your time. Number 10. Lower Blackrock Spire. 120 gold in 10 minutes. This one is a long beastie, even though the time doesn't say so, it just, it just feels long, trust me. There isn't too much to note besides to pay attention to your map where you could get lost, and to make sure to grab one of the pikes on the wall on the beginning here so you can combine it with the head of the boss you're about to kill and then summon another boss by placing that in a pile of skulls. Optional, of course, but I like doing full clears. Just like I mentioned earlier, I do record the entire run of every instance, so if you want to see that, I can post it. Maybe with some commentary or just music or something. I don't usually have any sound when I'm recording these, so it makes it easier to edit. <laughs> Number 11, Maradon. 100 gold in 15 minutes. Ah, uh, Maradon. I never liked this dungeon as a new player. I used to get so lost in here. But now that I've gone back, thanks to this testing, I feel like this instance is a little underappreciated. It's actually very uniquely designed, it's beautiful, and with its layout and plethora of cave life, it just, it just feels different. The dungeon itself technically has three different parts, but all of them are accessible from the same instance. You can enter either by the Wicked Grotto or Foulspore Cavern and get access to the first four bosses in this map. There's technically eight bosses, though, and the other four are in the lower part, called Zaytar's Grave on the map dropdown, but it's referred to as Earthsong Falls by the Dungeon Finder. You get this part by going down the Poison Falls area on the western side here. It's not entirely obvious, since there are a few dungeons, very few dungeons in WoW like this. Once you get how to navigate it, though, it's not so bad. A word of caution, if you decide to die, at the end to get back to the instance entrance, you'll have to run all the way back through the, the caves outside of the instance to get back into the dungeon. It's one of those... Yeah, just... If you can avoid it, like, either run out or something. Because that was a pain. <laughs> Number 12. Ragefire Chasm. 30 gold in 3 minutes. Super short little dungeon that sits below Argamar, full of fire and... Borks, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing too special about this one, really, but I've always thought it was neat for a first-timer's dungeon. Could you imagine what a Mythic Plus of this version would be like? Oh, the mechanics! Woo! Number 13. Razor Fen Downs. 60 gold in 6 minutes. I'm rather fond of this dungeon for some reason. I think it's because it has necromancers and a lich and even a red dragon, so it feels kind of neat. Plus, the piggy people, whatever they're called, are actually the necromancers, which I've always liked for some reason. Pigomancers? I don't know. <laughs> the one boss here jamming out on his guitar is pretty cool, too, so... Yeah, I guess this dungeon's actually kind of random, now that I think about it. Number 14. Razorfen Crawl. 60 gold in 5 minutes. A quick little dungeon, similar to the previous one, full of good piggies and bad piggies and thorns and... Bats and frogs and, you know, the stuff of legends. <laughs> Personally, I've always liked the two Razor Fen dungeons because they just feel unique. Unique to WoW, even. Just different. I like them. Number 15, Scarlet Halls. 40 gold in 3 minutes. 
This dungeon is one that has a heroic version, but that is the Pandaria scaled instance, so make sure to do this on normal for the vanilla version. This is also the one on the right when you enter the Scarlet building, so make sure you pay attention. I get these backwards all the time. Pretty short and sweet little dungeon, not much to it. A cool item to note though in this specific one is the Tabard of the Scarlet Crusade is actually a rare drop, an actual tabard, from Arms Master Harlan, which will then give you access when you wear it to a special vendor at the Darkmoon Fair to get some Scarlet ensembles. I didn't know about that part. Like I, I knew about the tabard, but I didn't know about the ensembles and stuff at Darkmoon Fair until recently. So I thought I'd share. Number 16, Scarlet Monastery. 60 gold in four minutes. Much like the previous dungeon, this one has a heroic version that's Pandaria level, so make sure it's on normal if you want the vanilla version. This is the dungeon on the left, whereas the previous one is on the right, this one's on the left. Also a fairly short instance, it's only four minutes long, but you can get some nice mog here too, so yeah, that's a bonus. Number 17, Sholomance. Is it Sholomance or Skolomance? I've heard both. 70 gold in 5 minutes. The normal version of this is the vanilla level. Again, like the previous few heroics, the Pandaria version, so make sure you're set to normal. I noticed that when you die at the end of this one to get out, it doesn't exactly put you at the entrance. So if you plan on farming this repeatedly, factor in an extra minute or two or be a monk or druid or something. Yeah. Number 18, Stratholme. Stratholme is actually divided into two instances with different bosses based on which side you enter from, though in the journal they're all listed together. So that's why there's the two sets of data here. On the map, the left one is the main entrance, and the one on the right is the east entrance. They both have different loot, so make sure you look at that in the journal according to who's where. And they take about the same time to complete, though. They're pretty neat. Everything's on fire and dead, so I guess that's cool. Yeah. The main entrance gives 100 gold in 7 minutes, and the east entrance gives 80 gold in 7 minutes. Number 19. The Stockade. 60 gold in 5 minutes. Super duper short and full of mobs. Nothing too exciting about this one except that it, as, uh, as dim as it is inside, the updated fire elemental models look really neat and light the place up. So I'll make sure to show that clip for you here. It's kind of cool. That's about it. <laughs> Number 20. The Temple of Atal Hakar. 60 gold in 5 minutes. This is another short and sweet little dungeon full of various dragons and undead and more dragons. <laughs> Certainly a neat lore dungeon though involving Hakar. This instance is amazing for skinning. I want to point out, since almost everything in the instance is skinnable. I highly recommend it for that. Number 21, Uldaman. 100 gold in 9 minutes. This is another dungeon with a spiraling, unique layout that you can get turned around in if you don't pay attention. Just keep an eye on your map as you'll have to double back a couple times. There are four stone dude bosses that actually aren't optional. It says they're optional, but you need to kill all four if you want to unlock the doors to get down to Arcadis at the bottom. So, optional but not. You know, one of those. Number 22, Wailing Caverns. 70 gold in 13 minutes. This one is a neat one because it has a unique sect of druids that are called the Druid of the Fang inside of it. That is, druids who turn into snakes. This place is also one of the few areas in the world that deals technically with the Emerald Nightmare thanks to what's going on with Nerolex and his brain. Fun lore stuff, actually. Otherwise, it's a pretty simple dungeon. I swear they sped up Moyo at the end, though. The Taran? I remember him taking ages to get to his destination. Could be just me. Number 23, Zulfarak. 150 gold in 11 minutes. I've actually always really liked this dungeon because of it being full of, well, sand. Like, that's probably a really lame reason to you, but I've been a big fan of desert-themed stuff for a long time, and I've even done many desert-related RPs over the years. And speaking of sand trolls, since it's the Faraki who are in this dungeon, how many of you are excited for the sand troll skins coming in pre-patch in a few weeks? Like, boy, I sure am. 
I mean, I won't rant about that, but <laughs> super cool. Super cool. And for our last instance, number 24, Shadowfang Keep. 55 gold in 7 minutes. And just like many of the previous dungeons, the normal setting is the vanilla scaled one as there is a heroic option. There's a little bit of waiting in this one at certain points since the NPCs are really slow to open some doors. So that certainly adds a couple minutes to the run. Otherwise a pretty neat dungeon. Dark, spooky, gargoyles and undead and wolves. Spoopy. Oh woo. Alright, so keeping with tradition, whether these are great on raw gold or not, deal with it. We got our top six coming. Top six vanilla GPM. Top six. Top six. Woo! Here we go. Number one. Dead Mines at 15 GPM. Number two. Scarlet Monastery at 15 GPM. Number three. Strathholm Main Entrance at 14. Number four is Sholomance at 14. Number five is the Ruins of Encourage at 13.3. And number six is Scarlet Halls at 13. There's a couple others that are really close to the 13 range, but these were the two I picked since they had slightly higher decimal numbers. You know, not that it matters. Woo! <laughs> Alright, that is the vanilla instances raw gold by GPM. That gets me up to date with this series with the exception of one more video. There's one more video coming after this and that is going to be the top 10 or so, I haven't quite decided, instances from vanilla to legion for both GPM and total. These numbers will probably only be good until pre-patch which is like a few weeks away but for what it's worth I said I'd do it so I'm gonna do it. You can expect to see that video after this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have some neat tips or feel like I missed something on this topic, share down below. If you want to see more of me in freeform unscripted action, check me out on my gaming channel of Latte and Tea. The link for that is in the description. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. And remember, it's never too Latte.